Every time there's an announcement for a PS5 upgrade of a game that I love, I always want to just cry. That's because there are many developers who forget that there are PS5 users like me who used to buy physical games but has transitioned to the digital only PS5. So what this means for people like me is that if there's a PS5 upgrade for a game that I may have gotten on the PS4 physically, I just straight up can't play it. It's not like I can pop a PS4 disc in my digital only PS5 to claim the upgrade. And I know not many people fall into this camp, but that's why I decided to make this video. We exist and we're sad. Anyway, if you don't know me, my name's Delilah, AKA Asasina-san. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, we typically talk about video games, whether it be Let's Plays or video game unboxing videos or reactions to video game content or just impressions on video games overall. So if you're into that, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button or if you just like me. <laughs> Before I get into the nitty gritty of my sorrow, which I know this is like not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but I like video games games so I get passionate about them so I'm talking about them. Let me direct you to an article from Push Square that clearly lists which games had free PS5 upgrades. Specifically, let me direct your attention to the paragraph at the bottom of this article that says, this means that if you purchase a physical copy of any of the games listed above, won't be able to upgrade to the PS5 version if you purchase the PS5 Digital Edition. I won't list out all the games, but I do want to highlight that my motivation for creating this video is because I really wanted to try the PS5 versions of the Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, as well as Resident Evil 7. For most of these games, I got them on the day that they release and actually purchased the Collector's Edition, so I had no choice but to get the physical versions of these games at the time. And at the most recent Capcom showcase, they announced that the PS5 versions of these games would be available pretty much that day, and I knew I was going to miss out. And then somehow I thought that having PlayStation Premium would save me from Resident Evil 7 at least since that game is on there. But what you don't really realize is that they only have the PS4 version on there, not the PS5. And if you don't know what PlayStation Premium is, it is basically PlayStation's new and most expensive subscription tier. And this only has PS4 versions of games. While I understand that this free PS5 upgrade is intended for people who have license to the game product, it still kind of sucks. And I also understand that PlayStation's new subscription service isn't in any way, shape, or form trying to compete with Game Pass, but it still kind of sucks. Like, that service at least has free new generation upgrades. And maybe not for all games, but for several games. So not only am I unable to play the PS5 version of Resident Evil through the physical copy that I purchased day one, but I'm also unable to play it through the most expensive PlayStation subscription service. In fact, I'm unable to play the new generation upgrades for a lot of PlayStation games, and hence why I regret buying the digital-only PlayStation 5. But despite there being a number of developers who forgot about us physical to digital transitioners with the new generation, but there is one developer that remembered us, and that's Respawn Entertainment with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Thank you so much. What they basically did is required you to go through a number of steps to prove that you not only own the physical version of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, but also that you had the digital version of the PlayStation 5. So you had to show receipts and pictures. Then once that was proven, you were able to get a digital code for the PS5 version of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I really wish more developers would look at how Respawn Entertainment managed that upgrade and give us a little TLC for their games as well. I mean, it's not like we didn't buy it. And if you're a developer somehow watching this video and you have have no idea what I'm talking about, let me direct you to Player Assist website where they link and direct players on how to claim the digital code for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It may have been a lot of steps, but it worked. And this brings me to another related concern such as collector's editions. So recently I purchased the collector's edition for both Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring. I like physical stuff, I like the statues and the little tchotchkes that comes with all of the collector's editions. How Horizon Forbidden West managed this is they gave a digital code which benefited both PS4 and PS5 players and both digital only and standard PS5 console owners. However, Elden Ring only provided a physical PS5 copy of their game in the collector's edition. And if you don't already know, getting a PS5 physical copy of a game means you can't play the PS4 version, so you're kind of stuck to the new generation, which probably isn't a big deal for many people, but if you're obsessed with Elden Ring like I was, you kind of wanted to play it 
twice on the PS4 and the PS5. I know, crazy. So it's almost worth getting the PS4 versions of games more than the PS5 because the PS4 versions you can play on the PS5 and you get two versions of it, whereas the PS5 versions you can only play on the PS5 if it's physical. So basically, if you're getting a physical copy of the game and you have a standard PS5, it's more worth it to actually get the PS4 version than the PS5 because at least with the PS4 version, you can play both the PS4 and PS5 version, whereas with the PS5 version, you're stuck only on the PS5, which most of you are probably just going to play the new generation of it anyway. There are people that are trophy hunters like me who get so obsessed with the game that they want to play both versions and get the Platinums for both versions of the game. There are also some people who want to auto pop the trophies and not all of the games go backwards. You can only auto pop forward to the new generation, not to the old generation, but there are some games and it's all kind of a mess and it's all very complicated. I'm not going to get into it because that's a whole other conversation and I'm definitely not one of those people who wants the auto pops but I am one of the people that if I really love a game like I loved Elden Ring, I do want to get the platinum for both games and play through it twice. Which I know you can play through the game twice on the new generation, but it's kind of nice to get the trophies all over again. Anyway, enough about trophies, that's not what this is about. Back to my point about collector's editions and physical copies versus digital copies. None of that's too important anyway, at least not to the point that I'm trying to make. What is actually important is that publishers and developers like Bandai Namco and From Software assume that people who bought the collector's edition only wanted the physical version which means that if you're an owner of the digital only playstation 5 and you get this collector's edition you can't even play the game at all they forgot that some of us wanted that badass millennia statue but still needed the game digitally to play it on the digital only consoles so what i would request from developers to rectify this is to keep all console owners in mind give them the option to choose whether they want a digital or a physical copy of the game with these collector's editions and I know this is a little bit touchy because back in the day when Halo 4 released their collector's edition, they actually included a digital only code and people rioted and demanded a physical copy. I was actually one of those people. I didn't riot, but like when they gave me the option to get the physical version, I did get it. But things are totally different now than they were when the Halo 4 collector's edition released. Like we're definitely moving towards digital only video games and also we're moving towards subscription services with our games. Happen to movies, happen to music gonna happen to video games. I just think at this point providing a digital cold is more mindful to all gamers of all console types. But based on the backlash that happened with the Halo 4 Collector's Edition, I wouldn't be surprised if developers or publishers remember this and only want to provide a physical copy for the Collector's Edition. But believe me, there are Collector's Edition owners like me who like the physical stuff, the statues and whatever, and need the digital code. If for some reason it's impossible to provide gamers with the option of choosing between a physical and digital edition for the collector's edition, then maybe there's another solution. And I think Red Dead Redemption 2 was onto something when they released their collector's edition in 2018. What they did is they had collector's edition owners pay for the physical items in the collector's edition and then purchase the game separately. When I first realized this was the case when the game released, I actually thought it was stupid. But now I'm seeing how video games are still in this weird transitionary period and they can't effectively satisfy both physical and digital owners so I think it's actually brilliant. This gave me the option to get the cool collector's items and also gave me the choice to purchase a digital or physical copy of the game and I was also able to get the game on release whereas the collector's edition released a few days after. You know nowadays the collector's editions don't arrive at your door on the day that they release. They actually arrive pretty late. Most importantly this gave me the option to choose whether I wanted the game physical or digital. So please, if there are any developers or publishers watching this, which I really doubt, but honestly, if you're watching this and you know a developer or something, please send this to them. Like, I want to spread the word and speak for the little bit of us people who have the digital only PS5, but used to buy PS4 physical games. Please. You have a few options here to consider us little people with the digital only PS5s. Do what Red Dead Redemption did and sell the collector's edition completely separate from the game so that we can choose. Or do what Horizon did and provide a digital only code and people that wanted the physical editions, I don't know, I feel bad that I'm leaving them out, but also at least they have the game and they'll also have any upgrades that come with that game in the future, if any, I don't know how things are gonna function. Or give people the option to choose whether they want it physically or digitally if that's not too much of a hassle. And if you're gonna provide a PS5 upgrade to a game that was released on PS4, 
then think about us digital owners and give us the option to prove that we have the physical game and give us a digital code just like Respawn did with Star Wars. Unfortunately, I think there are too few of us in this camp for any of the developers or publishers to make any modifications to their new generation upgrade strategies or how they manage collector's edition. It really sucks, but I guess I'll have to move on. I just hope that if you're in the same camp as me, you can help this video reach more eyes and ears by liking, sharing, and commenting. Even if you're not in this camp and you mildly empathize with the situation, please just share this as well to spread the word. I don't even want to make this video super popular to benefit my own channel's success. I simply want the gaming industry to be more aware of this so that perhaps changes can be implemented to benefit everyone. And I know, like, this isn't that serious in the grand scheme of things. Like, there's more things going on in the world and my channel isn't surrounding that surrounding video games but i agree with you there are worse things and i'm fine with moving on but also if developers can consider this that would be nice that's all anyway thank you so much for watching this video i really hope it helps us digital only people i'm rooting for you come on come on